Hello, 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 everyone. It's Mary Lou Andre back again with another edition of Beyond Dressing Well Live. We have had a very busy week week here here at Dressing Well. Uh, many of you attended our Welcome Fall 2024 Fall Fashion Forecast on Monday night. We also had a really nice celebration for the first anniversary of our awesome program, Dressing Well Insiders. So put in the chat if you were able to join us Monday night, put in the chat, say hello and let us know where you're calling in from. We always love to know that too. And also put in the chat if you were on that call Monday night, what was your biggest takeaway and extra points if you actually took action already. So get busy in that chat. Let us know what you loved about Monday pro program. If you missed it, Sarah would be happy to put the re replay in the chat as well. So before we dive into tonight's program, which we are naming Fall Fashion Forecast 2.0, we covered a lot in Monday night's program, but we didn't even get close to covering it all. We also got in about 50 questions in the last couple of days. Uh, we didn't get to all the questions in the chat Monday night, and we've just had so much interaction with so many of you in the community that we are happy to go live and do these questions. Uh, and I promise to get through as many as I can tonight. But before we dive into more of my show and tell, more of the Q&A, I just wanted to, uh, some announcements. Uh, first of all, big shout out to senior stylist Sarah Zengo. She is uh, in the chat, manning the chat. She does a fabulous job for all of us here at Dressing Well. Show Sarah some love in the chat if you've had the opportunity, really the privilege to work with her. She is amazing at what she what she does. Um, remember that she, she is the concierge in this group and we offer all of our new members a complimentary 20 minute style connect call. So if you haven't had one yet, do yourself a favor, get on Sarah's calendar. She'll put her calendar in the chat as well. And we're always happy to do that just to give you a little a layer of support, helps us to get to know who's in the group so that we can keep our our content super customized. We also wanted to give a very big thank you to three of our founding members who were on the call with us Monday night. So again, Monday night was really about the fall trends and we did five great principles. I'll repeat them tonight so that I can show you, show you some more show and tell. And now that I've read all the questions, I'm gonna be sprinkling in a lot of what you guys are asking about. But we had three uh, founding members of our Dressing Well Insiders program on the call with us and they shared why that that program is so meaningful and so beneficial for them and the amazing Sabina Grady we don't talk about Sab Sabina as much as we should Sabina is our right hand person she does all of our tech our behind the scenes she designs all those beautiful graphics for us she put together a video today of Karen Lisa and Cece's testimonials. She put it to music. So look for it tomorrow in the group. Uh, Cece, Karen, and Lisa, we have your first soundtrack being released, but you did such a great job letting people know how great that program is. And Sabina did an even b bigger job putting it all together in record time. And we're gonna release it in the group tomorrow. So wanted to just say thank you to them. And of course, fall enrollment is open for Dressing Well Insiders. It actually turns one year tonight. It We um, launched it on September 18th last year with 38 founding members. I think all 38 founding members are still in the group, which is just a testament to its success. And it is open, uh, enrollment is open until midnight this Friday and a couple of extra incentives uh, for those of you that are interested in joining. Um, so we're, the enrollment's open until midnight on Friday and that's so that we can enroll all of the new people and welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new people that have already joined this week. But um, we're gonna get them onboarded. The, the October session, they're always the first Monday of the month. And the next one for October is the 7th, October 7th, Monday, October 7th. 
And if you join by Friday, you're also going to be invited to a very special program on Saturday, October 5th. It's our Closet Jam. We have a lot of special perks in that program. The basic membership comes with a monthly style call live we teach it live to keep it really relevant really in the moment really interactive i'd say half of our members attend live half of them watch the replay there's so much flexibility you do what you'd like and what you're comfortable with you get 10 custom shopping links people love that the tuesday after the program you can use it as eye candy inspiration or you can shop it all it's really up to you it also comes with a really fun facebook group and again if you're not on facebook no problem it's just one of the um the perks of the program and some people are in there, some people aren't, and then it comes with a whole bunch of uh, special things. And one of the things that we launched this spring, and it was an overnight success, was our Closet Jam. So we're doing another one in October. It's free and it's exclusive to insiders. You have to be an insiders to get access. Uh, it's a benefit and it's gonna be October 5th, 10 to 12 with Sarah on Zoom. And she does a very, <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I came down with a terrible cold this week. Uh, Sarah is going to teach that class in her closet. You guys are deployed into your closet. And honestly, in two hours, you can get a really good amount of work done in your own closet. Sarah stays on the line the entire time. And you can say, is this dated? Does this shoe go with this dress? And she's going to answer you. It is one of the most popular things that we've done in that program. And if you join by midnight, uh, you can also be invited to that. If you can't make October 5th, don't, no worries. It'll, it'll be recorded. And um, also, there's plenty of other special things going on. So I wanted to cover that. And then the last thing that I'll say before we dive into our program is just another big shout out to our friends at Top It Off Accessories, women-owned company with distributors all over the country. They are in so many boutiques all over the United States, I think Canada as well. And everybody that was on the call on Monday night, I think we had 68 people live on the call, you're all getting one of these beautiful scarves. And one of the questions <coughs> that, <coughs> that came in was, you know, things that you can use soft, this is so soft by the way, um, you know, things that you can use as a layer this time of year. So everyone on that call is getting one of these. It is our absolute privilege and delight to, to, to make these things available for our community. You guys have hung in there with us and we love to show our appreciation. And I have two samples that they sent me. Top It Off is going to wrap these up and ship them to everyone that was on the call Monday. But I have two samples, and I asked if I could give two of these away tonight, and they said yes. So the first two people to join Insiders tonight, you got, one's going to get this scarf, one's going to get this scarf. And actually, we have our first uh, winner, Kelly Lake, if you're on the line. I just saw that you registered for the program. You joined the program at something like... 653 tonight so you're getting one of these scarves um and there's one up for grab so just again we try to do what we can uh to show how much fun it is um everything is so serious in life we are just so thrilled that we have an awesome membership that is about styling clothes but it goes so much deeper than that if you missed the session on monday night we were not going to send it out as a replay but we really want to uh every Everybody that was on the call already and people that registered already got the replay but if you missed it Sarah is happy to get it to you through the back door I'm more than happy to do that it was a really um, dynamic presentation I was really fired up to deliver it and again we had lots of laughs and lots of visitors and it was a really good time so next let's dive in so what i thought i would do because i have so much still to show i have a whole rack of clothes that i didn't even get to monday night but i to make it really different tonight um i'm gonna just read the questions and answer them and then kind of 
in between show you guys some stuff on my rack. So first of all, what do you think of my outfit? I was going to wear this on camera Monday night, but I think it looks way better on my couch. When I present in front of my rack, which I presented in my home studio on Monday night, there's so much clothes in the background that I have to wear a really neutral monochromatic base so that you guys can see the clothes. But when I'm on my couch, I can wear my new denim jacket with the crocheted sleeves. And a lot of you said, um, layering pieces as we go into fall some of you live in warm weather climates i got this um this jacket this summer when i was in dc and of course i've got it on with a sleeveless cream but it just connects and i go right into a lot of my cream so it might this is a top i don't know if you can see it one of my favorite tops i wear it all summer uh, but I love like I love how the proportions work and I have it on with my cream denim and when I wore this this past weekend I even had it on with my little sneakers so just wanted to show you guys again even when I was getting dressed today I'm like what can I put on that's going to demonstrate some of the principles and by the way denim on denim is so huge right now and I will likely wear this jacket the most with uh, denim pants I actually have a pair of jeans upstairs that are the exact same color so I just love how that looked and I had it on with a brown loafer when I had it on with the all denim and when I do all denim I button it up to the top and I have a really sweet lilac tee that I had on that shows a little bit more skin so there you have it and then I threw these earrings on a lot of people had questions about accessories a lot of people had questions about color but this whole conversation, and if you've been in this community for a while, you know we practice what we preach. This outfit just didn't come together. This was me bringing this piece into my closet and playing around. And then what I do at the beginning of every season, and I'm a big old nerd on Sunday nights, I actually set up my outfit so that I can go super fast. And I've done this for clients, if you work with us privately, it's the exact same thing that we do for our private clients. So you too, this whole thing can be taught. Uh, and when you get a lot of the questions that came in Monday night and a lot of the questions here on my, my sheet are, how do I have, you know, the number one principle that we covered on Monday night's fall forecast is the classics are back. And so much hello phyllis ward hello nancy from florida i see you guys on the screen there um but if you have a lot of classic pieces and you still want kind of that punch adding some of these novelty jackets an interesting color that's how you bring that classic dressing up up a notch all right so this first question came in from linda bensing and linda i think is from uh, the Midwest and she said her takeaways from Monday night it's time to give my closet a good overhaul I weed with every seasonal wardrobe ex exchange but perhaps I can be a little bit more serious about eliminating seldom used pieces I seem to always hesitate because truly sometimes an item lies dormant for quite a while and suddenly I discover the perfect partner piece. That's when shopping in your closet pays off. I agree. And put in the chat if you are someone that struggles with getting rid of you know, things that you think you're going to wear one more time. So um, great, great insight, uh, Linda. And um, I hope you're on the call and I'm talking directly to you. But that's why the insiders, that's what we do in the insiders. Like we just keep it really real. And for myself, I have some special pieces that I'm just never going to give away. I don't always have them in my everyday closet. So even in the summertime, like I kind of have my core wardrobe figured out. And then I had you know, about this much really cool pieces that weren't in my rotation, but I want to keep them because sometimes, I'm trying to think if I have anything down here, sometimes a color comes back in. And I agree with you, when you're shopping in your closet, this, it's sometimes having, uh, usually it's tops that I hold on to the most. There's a color or an interesting texture, even like this top that I have on. This has been in my wardrobe for a couple of years. I still wear it a lot, but it was obvious that this went really nicely with the crocheted sleeve on this jacket. Uh, but the key is not having too much. And I, I will be honest, 
I have probably gotten rid of maybe three or four pieces in the last 10 years that I've been like, darn it, I wish I still had that. But the benefit of having a streamlined closet is so much better. I can usually go out and find that piece if I need it. So I hope that that's helpful. People usually have way too many tops, the wrong kind of tops. And refreshing your tops with a good color, with a good cut, with a good fabric is usually the way to freshen up anyway. So you don't want to have mounds and mounds of stuff because then you can't see the closet, the forest through the woods, but really good. And she also said, I've never been much of an animal print person, but after Monday night, I'm going to uh, put a small piece in, an accent piece, and I would definitely not want to spend a lot on it. Um, I agree with you. Whenever you are adding pieces that you're not going to wear a ton or you don't know if you're going to really embrace the trend, I'm a big animal print girl just because, hello, my coloring, and I love how it goes uh, because of my style, I, I can make it look pretty different. I don't, I don't ever go head to toe animal print, but I also like it as an accent. All right. So, uh, also she says, Linda wrote a really long note here. Um, I need having the right coordinated layering pieces for spring, summer, fall, when temperatures are very cons um, cons considerably fluctuating in the Midwest. Totally hear you, Linda. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of what I did. I am, so what I do is each season, I actually have a whole, like a section in my closet right up front for my core layering pieces. So for instance, this little dress, which I wore quite a bit all summer. It's jersey, I throws into a bag, it doesn't wrinkle. I had it on, I think it was two Sundays ago when we first got that first Arctic air. It wasn't Arctic, but it was a lot chillier than it had been. I could easily put this little sweater on with it. I love the print on print. And then I also, because it was chilly, I put black footless tights. So a lot of you have been asking about what to put on your legs before you go into tight season. A footless sight with a ballet flat, you know, this is really casual. I wasn't doing anything fancy, but I felt pulled together. I felt warm. And when the day got a little warmer from like 12 to 4, I actually took the tights off. And then I put them back on. So somebody also said, you know, when you leave your house early in the morning and it's one temperature and then you have to go through, again, the time to be thinking about that is not in the moment. It's having that well thought out approach to dress. And a lot of times it's doing more with less. And those of you that have been hanging around for a while, uh, you know that these kind of really practical solutions are the way to do it. The other example that I'll show you is I have, where is it? Uh, this is another outfit that I have not worn much. I bought it in the spring, but it's a set and sets are really in right now. And these are black, cropped, but they're not super cropped, fringe. They fit me great and a matching jacket. So when I travel, when I don't want to think about it, in the summer I was wearing this top because it was really light and it matched the piping. The top that I had on Monday night when I taught the class is the same color, but it's a full sleeve. That's what I'm wearing with it now. And when it gets cooler, I'm going to put a long sleeve black turtleneck black tights and black booties and off I go. And those that those of you that want more of the layering ideas. So if I wear this say late October, November, when it starts getting chilly, I'm not gonna put a big heavy coat over this, but I will, I actually know, that actually it's an animal print. I have a beautiful animal print shawl wrap that I will throw over this and off I go. Now if it's raining, I do have a big oversized tan and black raincoat with a hood. So that would be something I would wear a coat with it if it was really rainy. So um, we talked a lot on Monday night about not getting caught up. One of our other principles was thinking about outerwear now. So you just don't get, you know, it just doesn't, the weather changes and you're stuck. 
but when I'm working with a private client, and I'll never forget the first time I did this, it was years ago, we did all the work in this woman's closet, and she was so happy, and I was like, do you have another 45 minutes? And she's looking at me, and I said, we got to go to the coat closet and make sure every outfit has a coat. So I got my rack out, I emptied all of her coats, and I went through all the outfits that we had just made, and I put a coat with it. And back then I wasn't taking pictures on my phone. Now I would just take a picture for the person. But I was putting little hang tags on her outfits that said, you know, um, tan trench coat or whatever it was. So wanted to share that with you. So I hope that that is helpful. Linda. Then we had Karen McBride. I think Karen is from Texas. She said, I loved Monday night show. Uh, got me back in the swing of dressing with more purpose. I ordered myself burgundy cords, toasted coconut sweater vest, and matching jacket from Talbot's. Awesome, Karen. So that's somebody that took action. And if you're somebody that is considering dressing well insiders, a huge part of that program is accountability and action taking. If you want one hour on your calendar to get happy and excited about your closet and actually get ideas or motivated to buy some things if you need it. A lot of people in that program say the program is saving them money because they're like, nope, I already have that in my closet or nope, I have something I don't want to spend the money. I have something that I can wear to that wedding or, or what have you. Um, but Karen, good job. And then she says, now I just need shoes. Still 90s here in Dallas, so have to wait to show it off. I like the idea of belting a dress and plan to check out the Gap Trench Coat. We showed a Gap Trench Coat. There is a huge trend. Uh, Gap, J. Crew, Banana, they are really coming up with collections that rival designer wear. It's amazing, but there is a great trench coat there. If you're in need for a trench coat, do yourself a favor and get to the Gap. Um, but back to Karen, you know, something like this, like a backless shoe, would be really nice to wear while it's still still warm. You can do sneakers. And the other shoe, I didn't bring them down, but my first boot that I'm in is I have, actually have a, a booty. It's perforated. And I actually wear those all summer. But that would be something that I would also wear before the weather gets really cold. And I don't even wear, I wear like little um, um, no-show socks with that. But that's it, all right? So Karen, Karen was one of our 90 Day to Stellar Style grads. I think Sarah told me that you were interested in joining the program. We'd love to have you back in. Then we've got Allison Wheeler. As a lifelong classic dresser, I would like to know how to add some interest to the outfits, especially as one matures so they do not look frumpy and boring. So, Allison, I saw you going back and forth with Sarah. She gave you some great ideas. Sarah sent her a link to a faux leather jacket that was just amazing. It was a forest green color, the same color in the scarf, which somebody else asked about the colors that are coming in for uh, fall, winter, and this this um, this dark green, this forest green is really big, so that leather coat is perfect, Allison. The other thing I wanted to show you, and I posted this in the Facebook group, I got this, haven't even worn it yet, but this is another way to keep your style modern. So both longer jackets and shorter jackets are in. I will probably wear this black turtle, probably black sleeveless turtleneck, to start out, because I love a turtleneck with this kind of neckline on me. And I have some really great black jeans. But you could also do this with a classic black pant. You could pull out the cranberry. If you're somebody that really wants to be more monochromatic and more neutral, um, look how nice this looks with, I don't know if you can see this, sorry, um, with my cream jeans. So cream jeans, cream turtleneck, and then I also just picked up these bad boys the other night. Aren't they the cutest? I just find that I'm wearing so much cream. I, somebody else asked about the white jeans. You can wear white jeans all the time these days. That rule is, is broken. I tend to go to a cream. I go from wearing white jeans all, actually I don't even wear white jeans that much in the summer. I wear white jeans in May and June because it's not hot. I cannot put them on in July and August because it's too hot. And then 
I used to wear like a black sweater and the white jeans and a black booty, but when I got used to wearing the cream jeans, which is a better color on me anyway, I definitely like, I wear a cream jean all winter. And when I saw these boots, I'm usually, you know, the only boots I have, and um, I'm certainly not a minimalist, that, that would be an extreme thing for me to say, but I have about six wardrobes that I pull out. I've got my early fall, and then my October through December 1, and then December's there's holiday in there, and then January, February, March, I'm in a lot of my blacks and grays, but I do do the creams. So adding this boot, they were on sale, a uh, no brainer for me. So I hope that that's helpful, Allison. I find that if you're a classic dresser, the other cool thing about fashion right now, and I said this on the call Monday night, is it's just so generationally friendly. You can wear the same stuff that your daughter is wearing and look, I mean, I work with a lot of moms and, and, and their daughters and it's just style sophisticated. It's not so generational anymore. So, you know, the things that you probably want to be aware of as you age is you want to have comfortable shoes. You, you know, even for me, I don't wear my high heels like I used to. It's safe. It's more comfortable. You know, I, a lot of times I'll, I'll have a shoulder pad or a collar just because I'm trying to build up my upper body, you know, in, in, in terms of your age, but everything else is you be you and you can take beautiful classic pieces. And we did a whole presentation on that Monday night. Um, but I love when I introduce, when I have a, 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 a client that is always taking care of her clothes and we can bring out gorgeous cashmere year after year we can put on a beautiful gold chain necklace sometimes they're thin if this you know the summertime when you're wearing thinner fabrics with a sweater you might want to go for a really thick one you do not need a lot of clothes to dress well just look at our parisian friends etc etc so the next question and i'm going to keep an eye on time got about five more minutes i'll go real fast um let's see oh how do i look fall when it's hot outside this is for my friend carolyn egan who is already an insider carolyn this is how you do it, girlfriend. Um, this is one of the, so these are white pants, but I've got a lightweight top that goes nicely. They're both, this is like a rayon. This is a rayon linen. And then I would just put a scarf or maybe a really piece of tur really pretty piece of turquoise jewelry. And I would do, these, these are the sandals that I bought this year. These were in the links for our insiders, I believe. But I love these. They're Donna Pliner. And I had this on the first week of September and felt really great in it. Here's another outfit. And I have this on my Facebook. Um, beautiful fall floral, lightweight. These are linen. Not wearing these anymore. These are already put away. But I will likely wear this with denim and these shoes until it gets cold. And the other question was, is if you're petite, how do you wear some of the fuller tops? One of the reasons I love this is just see the cut on the bias. It's got that asymmetrical hem. That's much, very flattering for most women, but especially petites. And you can definitely wear, if you're, you're trying to hide weight through the midsection, that's another question that we got. Um, the voluminous blouses that are in as long as you buy them in the petite department you can also hem them christina bruni if you're watching christina bruni is one of our insiders and she's got everybody hemming their t-shirts over in that group so uh train your eye and you know underpinnings matter so getting some you know go get a bra fitting go get some new undergarments put on a black pant a black jean whatever you're most comfortable and fit is everything get a little sleeveless back shell and just start playing with jackets with sweaters etc etc i'm trying to think of anything else over there i wanted to show you i know we're coming up on the um on the clock here hey carol yarmantino how are you she asked about when do you have to stop wearing white pants I answered that. You can keep wearing them. The easiest way to pull it off, not the only way, but the easiest way is with a black top and a black shoe. 
Um, let's see. Debbie Martin, she's one of our insiders. How can you get some more use out of dressier items? I think I explained that too. If you have a, a closet full of classic pieces, Deb, I just think, you know, take, take a little black dress and throw a jean jacket over it, see how it looks. Throw a sweater. And the person that said they were still on the hunt for the, you know, the little black dress, a lot of people will say, my little black dress is a little too dated. I got these two dresses this summer. This is what I wore when I was up in Boston and Needham a lot. I was at the Cape half the time and up here half the time. But I just love them. They're two, they were from Anthropology. I got them on the same day. This one's kind of sporty. And this one's a little dressier. And I wore these Oh my goodness, so much, so, so much. They were just really easy to throw on. So see what you have and then see how you can dress them up. All right, I've got Susan Rudd. What was your question? Is I'm semi-retired very recently to change my wardrobe from classic clothes to more casual clothes, but still utilizing my wardrobe of nice clothes. A lot of the same questions. If these are your struggles. So um, honestly, who belongs in insiders? Women who love clothes, women who are looking to repurpose because every session you're gonna get a demonstration on how to put outfits together, much more organized than what I'm doing here on the live show. Um, and it's also a very welcoming community. So people are, there. we've never had one problem. People are just so positive. So if you love clothes, you belong there. If you need a little bit more style confidence, get in there, you'll, you'll pick it up. If you wanna downsize your closet, you're gonna be motivated. And again, the closet jam, and anyone that joins by Friday is gonna get a free spot in that closet jam. We have people saying that they downsized their closet in half, they got rid of eight bags of clothes. They, they Sarah had people dressing up for weddings and telling them to take collars off, to put, it was, it was crazy, it was so fun. Um, but those are the kind of the kind of qu questions that that are answered. And let's see who else we have here. Um, Judy Bowers finding affordable petite modern clothes. Uh, Judy, the mall stores. You hear what I'm saying? Ann Taylor Loft. Get get um, uh, go over to um, Talbots. Talbots is a little pricey. I think that's what you're saying here, Judy. Um, even like when you have time, don't go on a Saturday, but like a Monday or Tuesday, go over to Macy's, go into, there's, I can't even, there's just so many stores over there that have decent petite. You got to hunt a little bit and don't settle and bring things back if you get home and they don't look great. All right. So I am wrapping up our show right now. I hope I delivered on my promise, which is always to deliver two or three fresh tips that are relevant to you and that you can implement right away. Again, just to recap where we are, we are in open enrollment for Dressing Well Insiders. Anyone that joins by midnight this Friday, that's when enrollment closes for fall. And the reason we do that is we have to onboard everybody, make sure everybody's ready. You'll be able to join. Sarah is leading the Monday night session, October 7th. She's doing an awesome PowerPoint with all the trends, our popular top 10 list. It's fabulous. You'll get the link. She'll be able to join the Facebook group the minute that you join. We have invested in a lot of technology to make the whole onboard seamless. Sarah will welcome you with a call. Um, and again, if you do join, you'll be invited to our awesome closet jam on Saturday, October 5th, 10 to 12 on Zoom. And if you can't make it, don't worry. There's lots of other special programs. And we're constantly adding special events and special perks to that program. Um, and if you join tonight, <clears throat> we have two scarves. One's already gone to Kelly Lake. Thanks so much, Kelly. We can't wait to have you in the program. But I still got one more left to send out to somebody that joins the program tonight. Thank you to our friends at Top It Off for always partnering with us to give away these awesome seasonal favorites. And I think that's it. Sarah, did I miss anything? Thank you so much to Sarah. Thank you so much to Sabina, who runs our back of house. Who else do I need to thank? Thank all of you for showing up. Thank all of you for coming on 
Monday night, as I said on that part on that on that show. It's nothing like throwing a party and nobody shows up. We had 68 people show up. We had almost 200 people register. We have uh, Sarah will get the link to anyone that wants to see the replay. Get on Saturday's calendar if you have questions. We are so thrilled to be starting fall 2024. It is our new year and we are in just such great shape. We are, our online programs are running so smoothly and with such elegance and grace thanks to the amazing people that are actually in our programs. Our virtual consulting is running really great and our in-person services are back in a big way. Um, so that's what we offer. We also have masterminds. We're taking a group of clients to Canyon Ranch in, uh, in November. So all of these ideas came from all of you. But I must say on the first anniversary to the day, September 18th, uh, Dressing Well Insiders is one of the best decisions we've made. It, it came from people going through our online programs that we were running five times a year during the pandemic. They were, our 90 day program was again, another just total gift of technology. And if I dare say it, a gift of the pandemic for us from a business point of view. But so many of you who we met in that program said, you know, how do I keep my style going month to month affordably? The program is $24.99 a month. We've kept it really affordable so that our clients can come in in between one-on-one -on -one appointments with us. People that are new to our community can get to know us through that program. And a lot of you that have been in our community and just love this kind of share um, is just a fabulous program. And we are, again, enrolling uh, this week until midnight Friday night. And questions, reach out. We'd love, we're welcoming new people in this week. It's always exciting to do that. And we definitely have room for you on the inside as well. Um, we'll be back October 2nd with another new program. Okay, everyone. See you later. Goodbye.